You may soon be able to control your smartwatches with simpler, more intuitive hand gestures. Also, in the future, more people might use smartwatches. New work out of the University of Bristol uses ultrasound imaging to make it easier to manipulate your connected devices with simple hand gestures, like these. This one, this one, this one they haven't figured out yet, but these two they got. That is an exaggeration, I think they have this too. The research team is using ultrasonic imaging, which is used predominantly in the medical industry to capture and identify muscle and tendon movements. Using image processing algorithms and machine learning, the team is able to very accurately classify discrete gestures and continuous angles. If you had a smartwatch connected to your personal IoT network, this means that you could have specific gestures to control your smart lamps at home. I mean, personally, I, I mean, I would still set it to the Clap on, clap off, the clapper. Right now, it simply isn't practical to wear a trend-setting ultrasonic imaging sensor. However, with the growing popularity of smartwatches, who knows? They could soon find a way onto the backs of every smartwatch. As the sensor and smartwatch technology evolves, this could provide a roadmap to more simple swiping when you're removing spam from your inbox, responding to messages, or even learning the guitar. That's right, in one particular example, they show how the sensor could determine if you were holding a guitar string with the right amount of pressure or at the correct angle. I, I don't know how to do that. Because that's what we need. More amateur guitar players singing about their feelings. Great! Merzer. Another week, another drone-killing laser cannon. We recently watched Lockheed's 30 kilowatt laser weapon, Athena, take down five UAVs with its extremely powerful laser. Well, yesterday, Raytheon rolled out a little competition at the Association of the United States Army Exposition in Washington, DC. According to a report from Wired, Raytheon's multi-spectral targeting system can fire up to 30 shots over a four hour period on a single charge. It tracks threats using a combination of infrared and optical sensors, and it is actually programmed to track drones that are commonly used by terrorists, like small 20-pound drones all the way up to 55-pound drones. They're called Category 1 and Category 2. Similar systems have already been mounted to and used by helicopters, but this new setup would be mounted to a dune buggy, specifically a Polaris MRZR, or MERZER, which could provide protection in forward operating bases. The reason these new lasers are so in favor? Cost. A pulse of energy is much more cost effective than shooting drones down with traditional artillery. MERZER. Spike Aerospace wants to build the world's first quiet supersonic jet. A jet that can fly from New York City to Los Angeles in three hours with low sonic boom. Sonic boom! According to the company, it will travel at Mach 1.6. That is approximately 1,227.63 miles per hour. The top of my head. Such speeds are possible now, but the flights create incredibly loud sonic booms. Sonic boom! Spike is hoping to put an end to that racket. The Boston-based company started working on a prototype in summer 2016. Well, last Saturday, it came one step closer to becoming a reality. The company had its first successful test flight of a subsonic, subscale SX 1.2 demonstrator aircraft. And really, now that I say it, I mean, that's a lot of subs. Now I'm hungry. The unmanned prototype is a scaled down version of Spike's 22 passenger S512 quiet supersonic jet. According to the company, the seven short test flights validated the jet's aerodynamic design and flight controls. The team was able to gather significantly more data than traditional wind tunnel tests performed in artificial environments. The company has already begun work on the SX 1.3 as it works towards flying the first S512 by 2021. I'm David Manti. This is Engineering by Design. You know that friend that has a smartwatch and he's like, oh, one second. It's like, oh, please.